Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to create nameplates for video. For example, in Camtasia Studio or in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and create a new document. We're going to go to File and New. And for the width and height, we're going to choose the resolution of our video. So in this case, we'll choose 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080. Great. So now we have this um, basically 1080p image. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to visualize what is uh, what we're going to put be putting the plate on. So let's go ahead and go to videos and uh, let's open up my Patreon video. And I'll pause this and mute it so you don't have to hear anything. Um, but I'm going to find a quick cover photo like this and I'll hit print screen uh, to get a screenshot of it. And we'll go ahead and close this back up. We don't need that video anymore. Great. So now we have, uh, and that's control V to paste that screenshot after doing print screen into Photoshop. Um, and that creates a new layer. And we can call this layer um, video. And we'll go ahead and make a new layer above that. And this is where we're going to put our nameplate. And again, this is just to visualize kind of what it's going to look like on video because we want to see what it's going to look like on a, on a black background, on a white background, on a real video, you know? So um, let's say we want our nameplate to come up on the left side. So uh, we'll do a kind of basic nameplate, but you can get as fancy as you want. Uh, I'm going to grab off of the edge of the window here, uh, so off of the image, uh, a little bit above here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and drag like this. And that's going to create a rectangle shape. And I'm going to get my paintbrush tool and make sure I'm on that new layer. And we'll choose a manageable size. And uh, that seems OK. And now let's go ahead and choose a color, which we can choose uh, white is fine. Great. So now we have uh, this little uh, text box here. But we want to make it stand out a little bit. We don't want it to just look like that. So let's right click on this and go to blending options. And now let's go ahead and give it a little shadow. So we'll go to drop shadow. And uh, let's put it at an angle. That looks OK. Now we can go a step further. And um, let's highlight. Uh, actually, let's highlight uh, or select everything outside of this little box. And what we're going to do is go to Modify and Smooth. And let's say uh, a 10 pixel radius. OK. So now, if we zoom in really close here, ew, nobody wants to see that. We can see that the corners have actually been rounded. And the reason I selected the outside versus the inside is because I want to be able to not paint in the um, unselected area, but I want to erase the outside area. So I'm going to go ahead and erase here and erase here. And then I'm going to unselect that and zoom out of my photo. And now we have a nameplate with curved edges. Uh, so let's go and play with the effects a little bit more. Let's go to blending options. And since this is video, it's going to be moving a lot. So we want to make it a little bit dynamic. So let's go ahead and make it yeah, this looks cool. Let's put it at 70. 70% 70 transparency. So that means you can kind of see things behind it as they're moving, but it's not going to affect being able to read text on it. Um, I think that's pretty cool. We could mess with bevel and contour. And uh, let's soften it all the way. Let's uh, raise the, the depth. And uh, let's see. That seems pretty cool. Yeah, that's a nice effect. Now let's go to OK and let's add some text. So I'm going to change this to black text and we'll go right here and add Mike Rodriguez. And let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because obviously it's a little too large at this point. So we'll put their name or my name, I should say, right here. And actually, before we place it, let's make sure to align it. So let's align to the, 
Let's align to the left. So we can put it back here. And when I hit enter, we can say uh, my title, game design teacher. So uh, we want to remove the spacing between these. So we're going to use the uh, text uh, character and paragraph box tool. And we're going to adjust the height. So yours probably isn't going to be this high. This is just the settings I was using before. So we can uh, lower this. If you hold shift while you're scrolling through this, it'll actually go faster. All right, that's nice. Now we can adjust individual parts of this as well. For example, if we highlight just game design teacher, we can unbold that and say we want that regular. We can make that um, font a little bit smaller, which that actually looks pretty good. And then let's raise it up a little bit. Perfect. Now we have a little nameplate. So we can put this here. All right, so now we have this nameplate, but what are we gonna do with it? So uh, first we need to get rid of this uh, example video layer so that that's not there and then we also need to get rid of the background layer so that it's completely invisible and transparent um, we can leave the text and we can leave the um, the actual bar um, the, the name badge basically so we're gonna go to file save as and of course you can save it as a PSD I'm gonna save it as a PNG um, uh, because that's what we're going to use in our video editing program and that's what you should save it as um, but you should save it as a PSD first just so you have the project files so I'm going to go ahead and open up or uh, rename this uh, to nameplate and I'll put that on the desktop so it's easy to find perfect so now if we go into a program like Camtasia Studio for example we can add in media go to the desktop, find our nameplate, and actually drag it into our scene. And we can place it uh, right at the beginning and see what it's going to look like. But I'm going to add it just a few seconds in. I'm going to drag this out so it lasts a little while. And I'm going to add a fade effect to the beginning and end uh, from the transitions folder. So let's see how this looks. And I, I am going to play this with audio, so I'm sorry if it's really loud. Um, or actually, I could probably, uh, no, we'll just we'll just play it. So let's hit play. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, thank you so much for considering supporting me on Patreon. Perfect. Really so now, um, the lo the nameplate fades in as I'm talking, and introduces me, and then as it goes here, it fades out, and um, that's a really easy way to um, create nameplates for video and you can go a step further since it's the whole 1080p size of the screen um, we can actually add a logo on the right side if you have a watermark or things like that of course you don't have to make it 1080p you could make it just that size but I prefer making it the full size that way you don't have to adjust anything when you're editing it just makes your workflow a little bit faster uh, so yeah that's it for uh, today um, if you have any suggestions or ideas for videos you'd like to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Peace.